All right, dude, what are we going to draw today? Scary 3D jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, scary 3D jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> All right, dude, you got your marker? Yep, it's right here. <laughs> we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. We're going to draw a really cool jack-o'-lantern, huh? And we're going to start with our paper. Horizontal. Vertical. Darn it. Close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so we're going to start with our paper. Uh, vertical. Vertical. And we're going to show our art friends a really cool way to draw their jack-o'-lantern so that the mouth looks 3D, like it's actually cut out of the pumpkin, okay? Okay. So we're going to make it look like it's got some dimension. All right, okay, first step. We're gonna start with a V, but it's upside down and it's gonna be curved, okay? Okay. And we're gonna curve the V. So the edges of the V, it's gonna be curved. I figured it was going upside down. Oh yeah, you could draw it that way. It's a little easier if you just draw it the same way. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do the same down here, right below, and a curve, but this is gonna be an actual V. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna turn this into a W, a curved W on this side. Good. Then we're gonna do the same on this side, a curved W. We've got two curved Ws. Now we're gonna do, down here, we're gonna do a curved M. And we're going to show our art friends how to draw the a face, but after you practice, after they practice drawing it this way, they could actually draw another pumpkin with a completely different face, their own face, any way that they wanted to. So we're going to do the same on this side. Now we got the teeth. Okay, let's connect it. So we're going to connect this side and this side. It's like a... If you turn it this side, it looks like a pointy apple core. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, you're right. All right. Okay, this is going to be his mouth, and we're going to turn this into three into a 3D mouth here in just a sec. But let's get his whole face in there, okay? So we're going to do another, another curved V, upside down V, right above that one. This is going to be his nose, and then a kind of a curved line in between. Good job. Okay, now let's do his eyes. So we're going to do, a, it's not a half circle, it's a little more than a half circle. It's kind of like a C. Yes, this could be his eye. I did a little close to the nose, but that's okay. We'll get it in there. Okay, and then we're going to do a curved line that comes all the way around. And this could be his eye. Good. Good. And then we're going to do a curved line back down to the other side of his eyeball. Okay, then we'll do the same over on this side. So do that circle. Do this one a little bit bigger than that side. That's okay. Okay, and then we're going to do a big curved line that comes around. Cool, and then a curved line down. And we do want to leave some room for the rest of our pumpkin, but the reason why we did the face is because the face is the most important part. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make the pumpkin go around him so that we use up all the space on our paper. Okay, should we make this 3D? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna make it look like it's going back into the pumpkin. So we're gonna do a line here that goes up. It's just kind of a short line. And then we're gonna do a line that's just like it, except the other side. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do a smaller upside down curved V to connect those two. Does that already look like we cut out our pumpkin? Yeah, Let's do a little more. We'll do another line and do it in the same direction as this one. Good. This time we're going to I'm going to draw this this same line but draw it right here so that it's right next to it. And then we'll do the same over here. Short little line. Good. And then this line now we'll draw it right next to it over here. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do the same on the bottom, except we're going to slant the lines down. This makes me hungry for a pumpkin seed or pumpkin pie. <laughs> pumpkin pie. It's making me hungry too. All right. You got those two lines. Good. And then we'll do that same curved V Can't you just right do there. A v? Yes. 
Good job. Okay, then we'll do it over here. Diagonal line down. And then this, now we're going to use this curved line right here. We'll do it right next to it, just like that. And then the same on this side, curve line down, and then curve line back. So this same line right here, we're going to draw right there. Good job, you did it. Okay, now we're going to add some thickness on this side of his mouth. Good. And then we'll do another line over here. Dude, it looks like it's cut out of a pumpkin, huh? Yes, it does. <laughs> Pumpkin. Okay, now we're going to do his eyes. So we're going to draw a line that comes right here for the thickness of his eye. Good. And then the same over here. Good. Okay, now we're going to do the top of his eye and we're going to we're going to do a thick line on the top. And we'll stop there. I'm going to come a little closer. Yes, yeah, so come a little closer to this line. Good job. And then we'll do a thin, a thin line right there. Good. And then we'll do the same on the other side. We're going to do a thick right to there. And then a thin line right down. Cool. Good <laughs> job. You did it. That's awesome. All right. So let's do his nose. And this one's really easy. We're just going to do a little curved V on the inside. Good. Okay, now let's do the rest of his pumpkin. Let's turn him into a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so we're going to do a big curved line right here in between his eyes. Good. And you want to leave, I should have probably told you, we want to leave a little room up here for the stem. We'll draw a teeny little stem up there. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the side of the pumpkin. So it's going to be a curved line. Comes all the way down. Right. Good. That's the side of the pumpkin. Good job. Okay, and we'll do the other side. Okay, so we're going to try and make it look a little symmetrical. We'll start here. Curve line around. I'm going to come down. Mine is not symmetrical, but that's okay. Yes, mine too. <laughs> you got a little curl right there. That's good. And then we're going to do the bottom part, and we'll just draw a big U, kind of curved line right there at the bottom. Awesome. So I extended, see how this line extends oh, yeah. out a little bit more at the top? I was and like, at the I bottom. accidentally did that on that was, and I wasn't thinking that I could extend it a little more. That's okay. Slide, your, slide it over here so your art friends can see. Good job. And then slide it up a little bit. There you go. And then extend that. Yes. Exactly. Good job. Okay, let's do the stem. And we've done it, we've done a couple jack-o'-lanterns before, huh? Yeah. And this is fun. We always like drawing them. You can always draw them a little different and draw their faces a little different. So I'll draw kind of a slight S line that comes up. And then I'm gonna draw a big, well, kind of a small oval right next to it that comes off good and then a line that comes back down and I had those lines they came out of where the pumpkin kind of comes in yes good job so if you had more room we could practice but that looks good I like it okay we could put a little we could put a couple lines on our stem and let's do a little curl because pumpkins have kind of this vine they grow on a vine huh yeah. So we could draw a little curl line, curly line that comes out, and then we could do a line right next to it. Good job. <laughs> I love it, man. Look at that pumpkin. He is so awesome. Scary. So Yeah, it's really scary. So when you color this, you can use orange for the outside, right? Mm -hmm. And then use a yellow, kind of a really uh, dark yellow, for the inside, this part that's cut away, and then you could use a really bright yellow on the inside so it looks like it's lit up inside. Is that cool? Yeah! Did you have fun drawing your pumpkin? Yes! <laughs>
We hope you guys had fun drawing your pumpkin, your, your jack-o'-lantern. We hope you guys will color it and then post it on our art club, huh? Yeah. Where's our art club at? Artforkidshub.club. Yes, artforkidshub.club. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. I'm